I'm better when I finish the talk. Um, I never ever thought about giving this talk in this very room. Um, so it's, it's quite eerie, really. Um, I started the, on the first slide with a, uh, a box of court rules. And these were in the uh, Lancashire Record Office now, Lancashire Archives in Preston. They were originally in um, Clitheroe Castle prior to that, as part of the on the Clitheroe. And before that, they probably kept them out in there, uh, behind here. Um, and I spent a lot of time going through these books, about 300 rolls uh, altogether, and uh, they go back to 1515, and the end. Uh, so Slaven uh, is very lucky in that respect. Well, I think that's all inside. Um, the whole land. You won't be able to read that at the back, the, the writing's too small, but there's, there's Boland, and at the centre, more or less, you've got the township of Slaveburn, you've got Newton, Easington, and all the other townships uh, that make up Boland, and there they are, Slaveburn, Newton, Easington, Grindleton, West Bradford, Waddington, Bashaw, Nixon, the two Boland <coughs> Forest, Higher and Lower, Boland with Legroom. And Boland was part of the Duchy of Lancaster, um, and it was administered by the chief steward, and there was often a deputy steward, a bailiff, and deputy bailiffs. Um, the phrase liberty of Boland is often used in the old records, and it consisted of those townships which I've just mentioned, but also within those townships, quite complicated really, a number of manors and other freehold estates. Um, some of the manors you may be familiar with if you're local, but Hamilton, was a manor in its own right. And uh, Hampton Hall is still there, of course. Waddington, Melmere, which is still there. Um, Easington, <coughs> Bashall, and there are others. I'm not going to give you a long list tonight. Um, the inhabitants of those manors owned the suit of court of the, the Bowling Courts. It meant they had to attend the courts, uh, and they would be fine if they didn't attend. Each township also sent um, constables to the courts, as you'll see in some of the slides that are coming up. And um, there was a couple of court police and a court baron. I won't worry too much about the technical terms, but they were held basically twice a year, once near Easter and once near Michaelmas in the autumn. There were also um, three weekly small courts um, held for pleas of debt, trespass, and uh, things like that. And again, you'll see plenty of examples in due course. 